Hey guys, it's me, it's me, it's FFP, and today I'd like to talk to you guys about the future of Bionicle. Now, I was recently looking over the website, which I will get to in a minute, because I'm just waiting for my computer to turn on properly. Uh, so, I was thinking, I was looking on the website, and I was reading through Liwa and like Kopaka and all that stuff. Yeah, Bionicle has a website on the lego.com, you can go check that out. And, you know, I see, like, no reference to the old Bionicles. Not that I have a problem with that, but I think it would have been a better idea. Because I think what would have been a really cool idea is if, I don't know if you guys read the Bionicle wiki or uh, the comics or anything like that, but there was, like, a Toa Hunter robot or something like that, and that never got resolved. Uh... That Order of Mananui, Toe of Sonic Sky, his story never got re uh, resolved where he was like in that tower by himself defending it or something like that in an alternate universe or in the future. Um, sorry for the camera shake, I'm using a makeshift uh, stack of books and stuff. Um, also the golden skinned being in the Paraka, and I'm pretty sure they said the Toa Nuva were going to go rescue them or something like that. And that never got resolved. So. I was thinking, my opinion is that I think they should have, like, because if they started the story at Spheris Magna already, they already have all those new plots they could continue and use that as, like, a new thing. So they don't have to, like, bring back Makuta, so then, like, all the veteran Bionicle people know that, oh, well, this is a new story, but something we already know a little bit about, and that's really cool, right? Also, I'll get a picture of the Mask of Creation up soon but this Bionicle Stars piece right here doesn't that kind of look like the Mask of Creation with the pointy things the eye holes like if I put it on my trusty mock here uh, I'm going to search up a little picture of the Bionicle Mask of Creation and so anyways I was thinking because this looks so much kind of like it that, well actually, yeah, because it looks kind of like it, and maybe this was an Easter egg. Okay, look at that. That kind of looks like this, right? So, maybe this was some kind of failed concept art for this. But this looks way better, just saying. Um, some of these pieces are way more intricate in design than some of the older Bionicle pieces. But uh, some of the new Bionicle pieces, because they use the Hero Factory, yeah, I'm kind of skeptical if I'm going to buy it or not. I'm just looking through these pictures. Don't mind me. So, anyways, those are just some of my thoughts. But also, thoughts on the future. Like, will they bring back like the video games because I have Bionicle Heroes for the Xbox 360 right here and this is not by all means a bad game but the controls for like aiming the right stick and the left stick are kind of clunky and in comparison the Game Boy port of Bionicle Heroes is far superior in my opinion because it just seems more like a Lego game like uh, I also have Lego Star Wars 2 in my Game Boy case, which I'm using as a stand. Um, and you know how, like, those LEGO games, they always have, like, those extras, like, oh, invincibility, or oh, uh, I don't know, like, shooting chickens out of your gun? Well, I think the Game Boy port of Bionic Heroes does it way better than this, because there's really no extras. All you get is, like, the Paraka Playground. I believe I'm 90% through this game, like, because I just got back to it now. I'm just trying to get it 100% so I can get the achievement and all. So yeah, basically, it would be cool to see another Bionicle video game, but done perfectly this time. Like, I don't know if LEGO still works with TT Games and EDOS, but if they do, I'm pretty sure, because this is an old game, like seven years, I believe. This is 2007. 2006. So, if this is a 2006 game, this is like right at the beginning of the Xbox 360, 
and that's when all this like first person shooters and stuff were coming into like uh were becoming favorites and all that so I believe now TT Games and Eidos have probably learned a lot and I'm sure they can make a new Bionicle Heroes game but not titled Bionicle Heroes because they're restarting I don't know something like Bionicle 2015 uh Revenge of the Mask of Creation or something like that. I don't know. Maybe they'll make more movies too. Movies, that'd be a cool thing because uh, Bionicle The Legend Reborn, I like the animation style for that better than The Legend of Match Nui and stuff like that because it looked more like the Lego pieces. Like Mata Nui looked like the Mata Nui figure. And like if you see Vakama from the movies, his mask looks vastly different. But I don't really complain, because overall I do like the older movies better than The Legend Reborn. Because in my opinion, Legend Reborn is more childish and uh, shorter and not as good as the originals. Ah, another movie thing, where the originals are better than the sequels. So yeah, especially because the time gap. There's like, they went from Metro Nui all the way to Spheres Mega at the end. Like, they had no movies for the Toa Inika. None for their, when they were in Mari Nui, uh, Carded Nui, and like the Glatorians. Well, actually, Legend Reborn kind of covers that the first year. And, um, yeah, it would have been cool to see a movie for these guys because the Paraka, they have a lot of personality in this game, even though this game is non canon. And as you can see on the back of the box, uh, Kongu is holding the Liwa's air axe thingy. Oh, not even about that, the green Bionicles are no longer represented by air. They're represented by jungle now. And, uh, that kind of got me off. Like, I wasn't too surprised, because even when I first started collecting Bionicles, when, uh, like, ten years ago or something like that, uh, I used to think that, too. Because, you know, when you think about air, you don't really think about a color. But I guess green would be the best for that. Because blue is already taken by water. Um, so yeah. Now it's jungle. Liwa is jungle. And I don't know if you guys... You guys can check the website after. But Liwa's mask looks so different. It's not even funny. It looks like a... Kind of like a gas mask kind of thing. Like the mouth. How it's like that circle thing. Looks a lot like... A, Tahu's old mask. I'll search up a picture of it right now. You guys can see it. Also, the fact that they don't use Toa anymore, and now it's called a. Uh, what's it called? Uh, protectors? Or whatever. I don't think they should do that because it doesn't seem original or whatever. Okay, let's see if I a picture. This mask looks so different from the original. Like, I know they're trying to reinvent themselves or whatever, but that just looks so much different. See, there's a bigger... See what I mean? Like, if I got the... Well, let me close that. If I got the uh, original Liwa mask that I'm using for one of my mocks, my Toa Vice, if you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't watch my Mach 6, um, then, yeah, this mask looks so different. The only thing I'd say is that, see the mouth design? You can still see the little holes, and that's kind of reminiscent. But basically, the rest of it, like all these like weird-looking fan things on top, it's kind of different. Also, if you look at this picture, I don't know if those are supposed to be axes. I didn't read entirely on the website, but they probably are. Uh, they just look so different. And I'm not all against, but it looks so childish in comparison. Like, the one thing I have to say I don't like is this, this like little chest piece. It's like so, so childish looking. Like, um, like none of the older Bionicle parts had any like sticker paint or whatever on it. And like the rest of it looks cool. Like I'm not a fan of the Hero Factory parts, but I bet I have a feeling LEGO will change that in the future. Like maybe if enough of us fans rise up and say, yo, are you going to bring back the old Lego pieces? And I'll be like, yeah, sure, why not? Because, I mean, if you think about it, the original Toa Mata uses, like, clunky, 
and ugly bodies. And now, uh, oh, wait a sec. Let me get that. Man, sorry for that interruption. That my phone's like constantly ringing. So if someone else phones, don't be too surprised. Uh, so yeah. I don't know if you guys like this or not, but if you don't and you're with me on this, then we can just tell Lego that, yo, man, like, yeah. Well, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Flashfire Prime, signing out.